Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video about zinc carbon cell. It's the same binder with carbon. Try to bring it closer so you can see. You can see already how porous is the structure. Yeah, so why did the same binder cast it on a piece of glass, let it dry? after that peel it off and we have this small bit which is 0 0.2 grams on a piece of uh, graph oil yeah so this is the piece that I cast it on a drop cast it on a glass clear glass and uh, Cut a piece from that. We'll add some electrolyte. Hope you will see how easy it gets soaked in. To this, we'll add normal filter paper as a separator. We don't want to allow any bits of the carbon to get exposed yeah and on top we'll add a strip of zinc sheet zinc foil and voila this is our uh, zinc carbon and this is my alarm I'm making new carbons in the in the microwave and if we we'll look now we have 1.178 of a volt and straight away we will add some values discharge values And we'll run our discharge sequence. It's dropping pretty fast, unexpected fast. Yeah, I'll come back a little bit later. Yeah, what can I say? I'm back. After 3 minutes and 23 seconds it stopped. Although it was just generating 0 0.10 10 milliamp hour. 10 milliamp. Cutoff voltage 0 0.1 volt. I'm totally disappointed I don't know what happened but um, this test was exactly as I made it I haven't charged it and this is exactly what we are going to do now we are going to run a few charging discharging cycles to see if we are improving this uh, non-performance so three minutes 23 seconds at zero point at uh, 10 milliamps yeah I was hoping much much more from this I repeat it has 0 0.2 grams of active material 
I'll be back. Yep, so now it's charging. The initial current current draw was 100 milliamps. It's now to 8 milliamps. It had a good uh, charging curve. Probably I'm going to charge it no more than uh, 8 to 10 minutes. It charged pretty quickly, it's now on 1 milliamp and is not even 4 minutes, let's just say 4 minutes of charging. Probably I'm going to stop at 5 minutes, I won't let it charge more than that. And um, then we'll uh, discharge it again to this with the same uh, values. Yeah, I'm going to stop now the power source and we will see at what value the voltage will drop and that will be the voltage from the cell, from the battery. 1.8 volts. That is not that bad. Okay, so we are now on a new discharging cycle. It has one minute since it's discharging. Started from almost 1.7 volt, dropped to 0.7. Not very happy. But uh, we will see what will happen after a few cycles. I'll get back a little bit later. It looks like we have here a uh, Swiss watch. Stopped again at 3 minutes 23. It's recovering slowly. Yeah, but at least this is a good part. I just made the new Swiss watch. I'll, uh, I'll run a few more uh, charging discharging cycles and then uh, I'll get back. The second charge. As you can see, has a nice curve. The current is uh, dropping nicely. It's now on one milliamp hour, one milliamp, and um, I'll try to charge it for more now. So I started around. Um, 4 minutes 40 and I will try to leave it till 14 minutes around 10 minutes charge to see if that is going to change the low performance if it's going to bring any improvements yeah my voice is uh, like this because I'm recovering from a really bad cold this is one of the reasons why I haven't made any videos lately, I haven't been working lately, and uh, now I'm st starting to test this uh, this uh, reduced size cell. In the same time, I'm also building another one, which is even smaller. I'm painting it straight on the graph oil. Still drying the first uh, the first layer. I'll try to put a few layers. Instead of letting it dry on a piece of glass and then peel it off. I've noticed that when you put the blade under the carbon it will make it crack a little bit and maybe that is uh, affecting the performance so I'll just keep it straight on the graph oil exactly as it will dry then we will start testing it and yeah I'll be back later 
Okay, so at around 9 minutes of charging, drop to zero. I'm going to stop now the power supply to see where the voltage will drop. And uh, one seventy-seven, not bad. We'll start around now the third discharge cycle. Sorry. Keep getting interrupted by the alarm for the microwave. Gain dropped substantially. And we will see what will happen. That was interesting. Yeah, I don't know why was that uh, increase, that spike in the voltage provided. But we will see where this uh, new discharge uh, will take us. See you. Yeah, it looks like good news and bad news. Looks The discharging uh, curve looks more like a battery. That's the good one. The bad one is that uh, now it lasted only 1 minute 39 and suddenly dropped under 100 uh, millivolts. Yeah, we'll run uh, new more tests and uh, probably I'll be back after a few cycles if there are any improvements. Interesting recovery. I had to go to the vet. I've charged the cell after that drastic drop. And um, probably has around 40 minutes, 45 minutes since I've charged it. After the charge was on 1.8 volts. And uh, half an hour later, he's still on 1.3 of a volt. And is holding this value pretty well. Yeah, I'm going to... Start now a discharging cycle to see if uh, something changed. See you in a bit. Actually, no. I'm going to wait a second. Yeah, it's still dropping really, really fast. Yeah, I think that the uh, peeling off uh, from the glass. Uh, definitely affected the performance of this uh, cell. But we will see. See you in a bit. Yeah. I did have improved significantly. 3 minutes and 43. 20 seconds extra. I feel like I should throw it away. But before doing that, I want to try something else. Of course, I was joking till now. The performance is still rubbish. Non-performance is great. Um, what I'm going to do, cut it two more pieces. And what I'm going to try, put them in between two aluminum plates and then press them with uh, two adjustable clamps and uh, see if that is going to change uh, the performance of the of the material drop casted straight on the glass yeah i'll carry on charging discharging uh, the other one but in the same time i'll carry on with pressing this one and adding a few layers to this uh, graph foil to see how this is going to change the performance. Yeah, I'll come back a little bit later. After another discharge, 
looks like it recovered to 0 0.9922 volts the time changed a little bit it is 5 minutes and 0 05 we will uh, I've changed the electrolyte tried my deputectic solvent if I can call it like this um, yeah, I'm going to try another electrolyte a little bit later, the reddish orange one. It's not what it says on the label. I finished that one. But I have a new electrolyte there prepared. It's a mixture of a few a few elements. But uh, with this new electrolyte, the yellowish one, I will um I will try I will uh, start uh, charging it now and uh, see how that uh, is going to change that 5 minutes uh, discharge time I'll get back in a second the current started from 112 millivolts is dropping pretty fast don't know if it's exactly a bad thing or a good thing but it's charging and um, I'll try to give it like around 10 minutes charge and see how it's performing it's charging already for 11 minutes still has uh, 4 milliamps but I will stop it now and uh, we'll see where the voltage will drop 1968 that's pretty good that's pretty good because I think it's the first time when a cell after a charging of a 2 volts will, uh, will drop just just a little bit after charging all the other ones were dropping down to 1.4 1.5 and then dropping really fast to around 1.1 1.2 volts but this one is still holding well okay i'll uh, plug it for discharging and uh, see you in a bit okay he is on 1.6 and start Definitely we are looking at a, an improvement. Now I don't know exactly if it's the electrolyte or the number of charging discharging cycles, but it's dropping much much slower now the voltage and uh, we shall see when it will finish. Okay, so now we had seven minutes discharging time is double than what we had uh, the first charging uh, discharging cycle. Definitely is a 100% improvement. As I said, I don't know exactly if it's the number of charging discharging or if it's just because of the electrolyte but um, next what I want to try is the other electrolyte the reddish one and see if that one is going to bring any improvements okay this is uh, the last uh, discharge that I'm going to do with this uh, active material I'm going to start now the sequence I'm going to end this video after this uh, discharging sequence and uh, then I'm going to do another video with uh, the active material that I've pressed 
and see how that one uh, behaves after being pressed for probably more than an hour. Looks alright till now. The voltage drop is not that fast. Yeah, I'll come back at the end of this uh, discharging uh, cycle. It just stopped now. 8 minutes 27 with the new electrolyte or maybe because of the new extra charge that received from the last one. It's a 1 minute and a half extra from uh, from the last uh, from the previous performance. I will stop this video now. I'm going to build a new cell with uh, the pressed active material and um, we'll take it from there thank you for watching this video hope you liked it hope you'll subscribe and uh, please please feel free to comment show me what I did wrong or show me what I did uh, well and uh, how can we uh, improve these uh, performances. Thank you and uh, see you in the next video. Never stop learning.